Hello and welcome back to the port. I'm the Gav Major and this is a let's play in the Italian tier 4 cruiser Monte Cuclio. Now this is a game of domination on ring, a tier 3 and 4 match, enemy team, Isokas, Gusano, Gusano, Krasny Krem, Emily Baten, Gangert, Corbett, and a division of a double Texas. So, Lots of battleships, which doesn't exactly fill me with excitement considering how weak my cruiser is. However, the nice one is of my range, and the enemy's already in range. So, I'm going to lay a smoke screen here, which, like I've said in the review, just feels incredibly wrong for a cruiser that kind of does this kind of speed. And let's see how many volleys we can actually get fired while we're in our smoke screen. So, that's one. Actually managed to get a fire though. Which they put out straight away. Let's get two. Now that was fired when he dropped off. Three. Gotta make sure I don't go out the back of my specs ring. Might be able to get a fifth volley off, you never know. You might be able to get six volleys off. That's the other one I find is the turret traverse speed on this is pretty awful that you can actually outturn your turrets, which can be a little bit irritating if you like you're trying to avoid incoming fire or something, your turrets just aren't quite lined up properly. Only Batan's only got a maximum armor thickness of 30 millimeters, so if she's sailing the way, um, the shells will actually detonate within the ship. Um, if she was broadside on, she may have actually stood a better chance of surviving that volley. Torpedoes nicely reload quickly, however, with only two of them, it seems always a bit not quite worthwhile. I'm just seeing the Cassano in our base. Um, he looks. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna make sure I keep this island between me and the enemy. Friendly Omaha is uh just gonna make sure that I don't get in his way. No, oh, I think he's actually slowed down as well. Let's see if I can just get my tail past him. There we go. The Cassan has actually stopped still. Mmm, so much air time. See if that is any better. Just going to close up to this island. I'm hoping that. Oh, a citadel! Look at that! Ah, he's sped up now. Let's go for the usual two and a half pips. Might just tactically beat chip. Oh, he's now turned the way. Could do with getting within range of an ally to try. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, what we got here? Two battleships. That is not what I want to be seeing. So, I'm thinking... I mean, I'd love to push in and try and capture the objective, but I know it's just going to be a very quick way to get back to the port, so that is not what I want to do. And also, I'm probably a little bit too close to these battleships to actually effectively engage. Simply because I'll be too easy to hit at this range with my slow rudder shift. 
So I need more time between me and the enemy almost to give me more time. Uh, yeah, I need more distance to give me more time. We'll see if we can get a fire, but of course the, the fires per minute on the Monte Cuculo is actually really, really quite poor. Um, does make me question whether high explosives is the right ammunition type here. Should be able to just swish out of the way of that. Sorry about that, but couldn't be helped. We will just put that one to fire out, just because the chance of them setting another fire on us at this range is quite limited. Ah, fire! Right. Oh no, the double Texas squad. That Corbett is uh, tactically beached into the island. Just going to get past the stern of this Arkansas. It should be nice to set a fire and for it to actually stick. There we go, that should stick now. Right, time for another smoke screen. Well, that plane landed rather quickly, didn't it? See what the acceleration's like. Yeah, I think we're clear. Let's try some AP on the superstructure. You never know, we might find another way of actually hitting. So let's just aim above the second turret, or actually at the second turret, I should say. Let's see if we can get some decent damage that way. Possibly. Torby is actually uh, did something. Why is it destroying the ice soccer? Okay. Ooh. Right, time to put the pedal to the metal and start putting some distance between me and this Texas. But yeah, I think an AP may be a little bit more advantageous in these. Nope, I say that and then I get a volley like that. <laughs> Let's aim a bit higher, see if we can get it to go into a superstructure. Oh, here comes the paint. Their reload time should be massive. Not leading enough. And that was leading too much, I think. Oh, crumbs. could have been a lot worse, but you can see how the compromised nature of these cruisers can just really, really hurt when it comes to having to engage a battleship, and unfortunately you can't just play a game where you can just avoid the battleships, unfortunately. You're always going to have to make an engagement. Now that's better, so a bit of plunging fire seems to work. Nope, and then I get a load of bounces. Probably try some HE, I think.
maybe see if we can at least set a fire. Let's see. Let's see if we can set a fire on there. That Texas. But at the same time, I don't want to be getting any closer, so I'm probably just going to set a course like this. I'm just going to try and use the high explosives to weed out a fire. If I can weed out a fire, that's probably a bit low, but we'll see. No, that's all right. Actually, still got six patterns. How quickly it goes pop. I was about to say. <laughs> well, at least that was a higher damage game. Um, 60,000 damage, which I am surprised at. Um, from 160 hits on target. Only one kill. Uh, four fires, though, which is quite amusing. Six defender ribbons. Game second on the team, which is fair enough in comparison to the rest of my team, I guess you could say and made a very pretty penny at the end of the day but for a ship that I don't enjoy I'm happy with that game um, you might think it's the bee's knees and you might be able to do better which is fair enough um, but no, nah, she's not my favourite I'm going to have to be totally honest well, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content feel free to subscribe and if you're already a subscriber um, thank you very much guys down in the description will be the ship mods mods and the commander build and also the uh, email address that you can submit any of your game captures for amateur reports and sea trials mm -hmm. until next time i'm the gavin major and back to the port